Good morning and welcome to Raw at Four. I'm still Jeff and I'm still phenomenally blessed. And today we're going to talk about how to assess your routine, how to assess your routine. And I'll actually go into 20 benefits of a routine and why you should incorporate it into your overall life. And truthfully, you are in a routine. You actually are your routine, whether you acknowledge it or not. But it's a pretty powerful topic for me and one that I'm super excited about because as I've assessed myself and and worked towards consciousness, we talked about some of the habits I've gotten into as far as assessing my circle, talking about giving 100 every day, applying 4 a.m. wake-ups. That, that is all inclusive of a routine and why it's important. And I, I, again, I I can't stress enough the fact that whether you acknowledge it or not, you are in a routine and and it's, it's producing the outcomes that you have in your life in all spaces and aspects of your life. Again, me specifically, my routine has an impact on, on how I am as a husband, how I am as a father and how I am as a professional worker. So this should be an exciting topic and one that I'm, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to. And, and before we get in, I want to say it, today was awfully difficult for me this morning. Now, I don't know if you care too much, but oh man, it, you talk about sleeping last night. I, I didn't know what I wanted to talk about today. And, and that's a real thing as far as how do I maintain this program? How do I maintain some content that is impactful to myself, of course, because this is, this has become very powerful for me. And, and, the, and, and the now 12 subscribers that I have, and, and thank you to all who have chosen to subscribe. I think it's, it's a phenomenal blessing, and, and my goal is just to produce things for you that make sense. So let's, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's, let's get into a flow, and, and let's, feel, let's feel good about our day. So I'm going to go right into, into a routine and define it for you. I'm going to start by defining it for you. And before I do that, because I want this to look professional. When I switch my screen here, you're going to see a black line going through. It's so frustrating for me. I spent like the last half hour trying to to fix it. And I said, you know what? It's better to just go with something, even if it's not 1000% perfect, than to not go with something at all. So check this out. All right, ready? We're leveling up, level up, level up, and boom. All right. You should see me and a screen. I only have one monitor I'm using right now, so I can't see myself, which is kind of awkward for me. But let's go through the, the literal definition of routine. And again, as, as a technical IT worker, one of the things that has been the most benefit for me is the logic behind everything I do. And so I break everything I think of now, as far as consciousness goes, into as literal and technical understanding as possible. So what is a routine? A routine is a sequence of actions regularly followed a fixed program performed as part of a regular procedure rather than for a special reason. Pretty obvious, right? But, but, but the highlight for me is a sequence of actions regularly followed. That's the definition. That's the definition. Why is this important? I'm going to go into fortbehavioralhealth.com. They say when routine is lacking, routine creates structure and promote mental, physical, and emotional health. The absence of a routine can often lead to stress and feelings of unmanageability. Self-medication is a common response to these feelings. This is spicy. This is spicy. Unfortunately, using drugs and or alcohol to deal with the stressors of daily life can lead to subsequent addictions. Creating daily routines in the morning and at bedtime can create structure in our unpredictable lives and therefore protect against harmful, harmful stressors and triggers that can lead us down unhealthy paths. That's when a routine is lacking. My argument and debate is going to be to this. You, I was a self-medicator, right? I was big into, into, into drinking, whether it was an acknowledgement consciously or not. Uh, it was part of my routine. But, but you're in a routine, right? They, they, they're telling you when a routine is lacking. I'm, I'm more of when a structured routine is lacking, when a conscious routine is lacking. Because again, you're getting up you're doing your thing, you're being successful in some capacity in life, or you're at least getting up and going through the process of brushing your teeth, getting ready and doing something. 
whether you're employed or unemployed, that, that obviously dictates some of what your your habits and routine will become. But you're in some kind of a rhythm. You, you're doing something every day, even if your something is nothing. Right? That's 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 a routine. You can be in a routine of nothingness, and that fucking sucks. All right, let's talk about why routines or or the the benefits, I should say, of routines. And I'm gonna get into these twenty. Benefits of routines, routines starting with WebMD, WebMD.com, which will give me the first three, and I'll move over to another site. But first, you'll sleep better. Two, you'll enjoy better health. Three, you'll be happier. Everybody wants to be happier. That's, that's, that's almost reason enough as is. Here we go for skilledatlife.com. They talk about a routine making us more efficient, reducing our need to plan, creates structure in our lives saves time our most valuable resource oof i mean time is everything time is and at 41 time for me means a lot more than it meant for me at 21 right instills good habits breaks bad habits helps us become more proficient helps us to get helps us get the most important tasks done prioritization Super important. What are your priorities? In, in what order do you need to do things? Some things can't get done. That's going to be okay if you prioritize properly. Reduces the need for determination and willpower. That is, as I'm going through routine and, and it's been applied for like the last 16 years, 16 months, excuse me, of my life, can't say that, I can't emphasize this enough. Reducing the need for determination and willpower. Your routine just gets you into a flow. You don't have to think about it. When you build it, it, you just do it. Think about today and what you do. You're just doing it. Reduces procrastination. Builds momentum. Builds self-confidence. Builds self-confidence. When you know what you're doing, you're more confident in what you're doing. Saves us money. Helps reduce stress and facilitate relaxation. Frees up, frees up our time. And lastly, Helps us achieve our goals. Helps us achieve our goals. All right. Press my button. Fancy screen stuff should be done, and I should be back to my, my beautiful face here. So I've just dumped a lot on you. I've dumped a lot on you, and I didn't go into great detail or context on any of the 20 reasons why it's important to have a routine. But, but we're here today to, to acknowledge what a routine is and start the process of assessing your routine. Again, no judgment, no judgment. What you do and how you do it, if, if you are in your version of bliss and happy, all good. There's, there's nothing for us really to talk about except for to emphasize if you are that level of bliss, then, then you should be sharing and serving and getting other people aligned with what you do because why not? Why should you be the only one that feels that way? You know, at least that's my perspective. And, and also, you get to share positivity with others, which, which in turn should, should uplift and inspire you. So I want to get into what my routine used to be and how I assessed my routine and, and ultimately got into one that I think is conducive for, for a very successful and rich life. A lot of time, man, there's so many thoughts running through my head. The biggest thing is always always for me is going to be acknowledgement and commitment. So once you can come to a headspace where you acknowledge where you are, it should also give you great insight into where you are not. And, and there's a, a plethora of reasons, I'm sure, why you're not where you want to be. And, and I, I'm in that bucket. And, and, and again, I've lived a very happy and rich, successful life in that I've, I've learned a lot of things consciously that just, just help me get through this, through this life and, and get through these days. But a routine is, is what helps fulfill you. And my routine was shitty. My, my routine just absolutely sucked. And, and I'll get into what that used to look like. I'd wake up in the morning and, and let's say as of now, my, my daughter has to be on the bus at 740. My son has to be on the bus at 840. There's an hour difference between the two. I would work backwards from, from that, the time of when do I need to leave. And, and my morning was severely impacted by my evening. I'd, I'd be getting my kids to, to sleep by about between 8 and 9, and, and I'd immediately go and pour a drink and, and have a couple. 
and and play some Madden, play some video games, or or watch a football game, watch a basketball game, watch a baseball game, because that was my quote unquote me slash alone time. That was my chance to decompress. That was my chance to release myself from all the stress that is in and around my world. And and that's there's a fairness to that. And there's there's I'm not knocking it again. I'm, I'm going to continue continuously say that if. If you're producing the outcomes your family needs you to produce and, and you're happy, great. You know, I, I happen to think I was a functioning alcoholic. That's just straight up and real where I was at. And, and so 7.40, I got to be up. I was getting up probably at 7 and hitting the snooze and rushing out of my bed at 7.09. And, and it's chaos. My daughter's, you know, we got to leave soon. I'm hungry. I'm trying to brush my teeth quick, grab whatever I can to put on, make breakfast. This is the, the Cheerio moment, right? throwing some Cheerios in a bowl and or a piece of toast with some cream cheese, rush her out the house, and there's all this panic, right? There's all this panic. I, I got to hurry up and get out because I'm up against the clock. I'm up against the clock. I get home and, and start the process of trying to get myself together, getting myself in the shower, getting myself dressed quickly, as quickly as possible because now I got to tend to my son. Get my son dressed, get my son a piece of toast, get my son out the door. And all these things are happening frantically, whether you realize it or not, because I would give myself just enough time to execute these tasks. And then God forbid I got stuck behind a bus or, or anything that would, would prevent me from moving forward in my commute. It, 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 it was just barely enough time to, to, to get the kids out and start my, my, my routine towards work. I get to work probably just on time and... And I'd eat something because that was important, right? And I put in my eight hours. And that's all well and good, right? You feel, all right, what did, I, what did I accomplish? Let's stop and assess that. Well, I'm a father. I got up. I got my kids out. I got my kids fed. I got them to school. And, and they're safe. So I'm good, right? I, I did what I was supposed to do, quote, unquote. I checked those boxes. I got to work. I got to work on time, barely, but I got to work on time. And, and I executed my tasks and I left and, and everything should be copacetic, right? I'm good. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I get home and, and a very easy nighttime routine. I knew I would work backwards from my kids have to be in bed no later than nine o'clock. And the motivation for me to get them to bed by nine o'clock was I got to pour a drink. You know, I got to pour a drink and I got to, I got to get into my me time. And so as I was commuting at this time, you know, I get home six thirty seven. I spend the next 90, you know, 60 to 90 minutes doing whatever I could to do the absolute minimum required to get the kids into their flow for sleep and then to repeat this cycle over and over and over again. I, 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 can't, I can't stress enough. I don't have a bad career. I don't have the greatest one. But as far as functioning and producing, you know, I talked about, going from $4 an hour to being in the top 8% of earners. There's, there's a time in my life where the, over the last three years, actually, I've, I've doubled my salary. And, and the last year of my life has been strict and disciplined around routine. But before that, I was that functioning alcoholic doing everything I could to do the bare minimum of the requirements for me to execute all tasks in my relationship. That was my routine. And I've worked with, I mean, I had a staff one time of about 350 people, 400 people. And, and I couldn't talk to every one of those people, but every chance I get, I'd, I'd have one-on-ones with folks, step downs and, and talk through just some of what they're doing. And when I have one-on-ones with folks, excuse me, I don't like to talk about too much work. I feel like work should be talked about regularly enough. So I use that time to just kind of get into, Hey, how are you? How are you feeling? What have you been up to? And and in, in these conversations, I found that a lot of us are, are flowing through this routine of, of producing the bare minimum of what we need to achieve the outcomes that check the box for respective relationships and tasks. So as a father, I need to keep my kids in a routine because it's important. They got to get up at the same time. They got to go sleep at the same time. What do I have to do to get them up and to sleep at the, at the same time? Just the bare minimum. I got to get them food. I got to get them water. I got to get them packed. I got to get them out. That is a routine. That is a routine whether you're, you're, you're conscious of it or not. 
And that routine, going back to yesterday, and we talk about energy, vampires and suppliers, a routine of, of bare minimum, or sometimes in some of you of nothingness, produces exactly what that is, the bare minimum of a relationship as a father, the bare minimum of a relationship as a husband, the bare minimum of a relationship as a worker. And, that, and, and we talk about the benefits of a routine. One of the biggest things they talked about was your time. So I'd argue if you're following a routine like I outlined just a short time ago, it's, it's hectic. It's somewhat productive because you're executing, but it's very stressful. It's very stressful because you're not in control. You think you're in control, but I get up every day at the same time. But I get the, the kids to school. But I get to work and I execute my, my job functions. But I've been married for 14 years, together for 24 now. So on the surface, on paper, it's all gravy. It's, it's good. We're, we're, you know, what are we talking about here, Jeff? We're talking about the ability to elevate yourself to the levels you may have not achieved yet in life. And you have time. You just have chosen a routine that applies to what you need most likely at the most minimum levels. And I found myself frustrated, confused, stressed, and I was doing it all to myself because that was my routine. This is a conclusion we all must come to, particularly if we're complaining regularly. Your routine probably sucks, just like your circle sucked. You have to assess your routine. You have to be cognizant of where you are Every step of the day, every second, minute, an hour, you got to appreciate them like you've never appreciated it before. Unfuck your routine. This has been Raw 4. May everything you desire come to you exactly as you deserve. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to execute a high-level routine and the changes it will make to your life. In fact, We'll talk about how it will absolutely change, about, change how you feel about life. Roll four. Be blessed.